Hello everybody and thanks for joining. So today uh, I'm going to show you something really really cool. This is probably the uh, the best thing you'll see all day. <laughs> it is, trust me. Uh, no, um, I'm going to show you how to insert any graphic that you desire for your project. So how's this done? Well, uh, click on your insert graphic icon and it opens up the path editor. Now uh, if you've seen my lathe object tool tutorial. Uh, the lathe object allows you only to do uh, similar objects, but this one allows you to do any shape, any object that you require. So for the, I have a few emails where people were saying, oh, if this is all it can do, then the software is very limited. Uh, well, obviously you, you didn't explore further. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's say if you want to create a, a puffy cloud. So let's create a puffy cloud, shall we? There's my puffy cloud join. Now, uh, this is only going to give me 50% of the shape, but if I want the exact shape, I'm going to rank it right up to 99%. For some reason, it won't allow it to do a 100. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And now I've created my puffy cloud. So if this is what you require, then by all means, here it is. So that's kind of cool. So as you can see, you can do anything you want using the path editor a cube or a square, not a problem. Here's my square, cool. Uh, but let's say you want a circle within that square. I'm just going to place this in the center. Uh, let's say you want a circle within that square, or you want to cut a hole here. How do we do this? Very simple. If I now create a circle and then move it also in the middle, press OK. Now I've got the hole in my square. So anytime you insert one object into another, uh, you are basically cutting the the object out. So that's what we've done here. All right, let's uh, keep going. Let's do something really cool. All right, so let's say you want to have this little boy on your project. How's this done? Well, use your path tool, and your path tool allows you to outline any object that you desire. So if you need to trace an object and then have that same shape for your project, it's this is how it's done. You just basically map your picture. Now unfortunately I can't speed this up so I'm just, you're just going to have to bear with me while I'll do this. I could always just sing for you in the meantime but then I might lose a lot of subscribers. So let's not do that, shall we? This is done pretty quick, and I don't need to be perfect. It is a tutorial, and the purpose of the tutorial is to show you how it's done, and not to show you how good I am, right? Anyway, I'm almost done. Almost done. Here we go. I'm stretching now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, just here, close path, and you press OK. And voila, there it is, just that little boy. So like I said, you don't need to be 100% perfect, because you can quickly see how, how it happens, right? Cool. So there you go, my, my, my uh, YouTube viewers. I didn't know what to say then. Uh, I'm just going to show you one last thing. It's called Vector. If you don't know what Vector is, Vector is basically just the same as you were a kid. You've got a tracing paper, you stuck it over a picture, and then you traced it out with a pencil. So it's the same thing. Convert to vector. Little icon at the bottom here. Convert to vector. This is my threshold. Basically, I would just uh, show path. I only click it so you get rid of everything. Now, what you'll see in this preview window is what will appear. Your threshold, the more you crank it up, the more you'll get. The less you take, the less you'll see. It really is uh, self-explanatory. So I'm going to do it about 50%. I'm going to press OK. Right, so I'm just going to zoom in. All right, now you'll see basically what it is that it's going to trace. Now, if it's not perfect and you want to adjust it, click on here. It's called the adjustment. And then anywhere you just click on one of the lines and all your nodes will pop up and these nodes will then allow you to change anything you want. So I'm going to leave it as is, press OK and now 
we have the car. There you go. So as you can see, uh, working with the insert graphics or your part editor, you can quickly come up with some really, really neat stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.